Hello my soccer universe. While for uh, Black Friday I did resist the classic football shirts offer for post Christmas, I found two shirts that I couldn't resist and I forgot about the third one. I really forgot about the third one, but you know, so be it. Those are the two that I have chosen. I'm gonna reveal them over two videos and you know, since we're at the moment in a league uh, jersey review uh, mode, I have decided there is one league uh, jersey in there that I'm gonna review. Actually, and that maybe may increase uh, the interest, it's not a league uh, jersey, it is actually a league 2 jersey, which makes it even sweeter. Uh, it's a jersey that uh, at the beginning of the season I was hoping that I can get it somehow on sale. Then it turned out it was uh, <laughs> it was not or it was already sold out at the club store, and so yeah, I never really thought about it. And then it turned up. But before that, what do we have from classic football shirts? We have of course the card, and do we have anything other goodies? What's the player that we got? We got Hidetoshi Nakata. That's actually pretty cool. I have many, many Serie A players here. So that actually works out fine. I have them only standing here. I need to find a better place for these. Maybe, maybe I can add them somewhere here in the background. So let me show you the jersey of the team. It's actually a new supplier and this is why I went for it. It is Toulouse from the past season where they won League 1 and uh, Toulouse, of course, is also um, owned by Redbird, who are now owning Milan. So I thought this is kind of a nice thing. And it's a purple Toulouse jersey with a slight twist. And yes, I just recently got a white Toulouse jersey. Uh, so yeah, I have two Toulouse jerseys, which is a team I never thought I would have even one jersey of. But I thought this was a really nice one. And given that it is craft, and I don't have a craft jersey, I thought I'll go for it. Here's the jersey. And yeah, just when I look at it, the, uh, the crest is kind of rubberized, which is really, really nice. It's now the new one here. Uh, the jersey feels kind of lightweight. And then uh, what I really, really like about this one is that it has this, um, it has, has a very subtle pattern in there, but it's only half, half. You have the pink line, which is kind of broken up. And then on the left side, I don't know if the camera will pick, pick it up. You see those Occitan crosses in there, while on the right side, this is not present. I would say I'll put it quickly back there that we can appreciate it in its entirety. Okay, there it is. Maybe let's put even some light, more light on there. Uh, I gotta say I'm a little bit surprised how dark the purple is when I look, look at it, but I do like the slight pink accents that come with it. Uh, of course it makes sense because Toulouse is the rose city, so I think they, uh, it makes total sense. And I know that the um, away jersey was basically a reversal between the pink and the purple. And that was a jersey that I was actually think, thinking about, but I said, no, I want to have a purple Toulouse jersey. Well. Here you have, as I said, the rest, the crest is uh, nicely rubberized, uh, which feels very well, uh, nicely. I also like the pink sleeve cuffs. Uh, overall, I think it's a pretty nice looking jersey. Overall, I, I really like the thin line, even though it's slightly broken up with the uh, edges of the cross. I think uh, it still comes out uh, pretty cool. And yeah, add to it, it was a successful jersey from a promotion season. I think it makes good and uh, LP promotion. They got promoted. Um, you have on the bottom the craft logo, and then on the collar on the back it says TFC. How it is now uh, illuminated me. It still doesn't make any sense that it isn't TFC, but TFC. But I guess it's easier to say. Uh, and you see the same uh, purple line that's broken up just below the collar. Maybe it might. So right here it is. You see a little bit closer again. There are those slight crosses in there. But yeah, I overall, I have to say this is a really nicely crafted jersey, uh, 1937. I will see how the size fits. And there's another interesting detail within the collar 
which is of course a little bit of the city of Toulouse, the cityscape, which is definitely a super, or oh, some few buildings from the city, which is definitely a super, super nice touch. So yeah, so yeah, I'm quite pleased with the jersey, I gotta say. Uh, never thought I had have two Toulouse jerseys, now I have two and probably have, don't have the need for more, although the uh, really nice Toulouse jersey fig uh, figured in my top 10 of jerseys for the past year. Any case, please let me know what you think about this jersey. It's my first ever craft jersey, so uh, that is very exciting to me. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!